This is StormTrack 12. I'll tell you what, 2019 seems to be flying by pretty rapidly, at least for me anyway, and the warmer weather this week made it seem that much more so, especially as we approach spring here, but colder weather snapped me back into reality a little bit here today. As we stayed in the 20s, we're still right at 20 degrees right now, thanks to some cloud cover keeping us there, but once things start to clear up, we're going to see those temperatures drop a little bit even more so later tonight. We go Napa Lake in 24 degrees. There's the 20 degree reading in Binghamton, but there's some of those teens going all the way up to the north and east along Interstate 88, and we're all going to get there as we go throughout the night tonight again as we see some of that cloud cover break up. That's because high pressure sitting up into Canada and it's keeping pretty much the whole northeastern part of the country dry, even extending down a little bit closer to the Carolinas as well. And that high is going to continue to slide off to the east as we go through the rest of this weekend. And it's going to help to again break up some of that cloud cover and end any more of those lake effect bands. We saw some of that today, but of course that has since quieted down here tonight. Now we'll see variable clouds again clearing out by the morning hours and it is going to be colder for sure as we go through the night tonight. We're watching that snow arriving tomorrow anywhere from 7 to 8 o'clock. Even some of the eastern zones may be closer to 9 tomorrow and we are going to get some accumulations from this, but nothing major as we head into our president's day shouldn't impact the Monday morning commute too, too much. And then the other storm we're watching a light wintry mix entering in Wednesday into Thursday. Other than that, some dry time as we go throughout this coming week. Let's check out future track here then tonight. Again, we're going to see those clouds really clear out. Plenty of sunshine actually as we go through the morning tomorrow, but notice those high clouds. They start to enter back in the farther into the afternoon that we go, and there's the first sign of some of that snowfall moving its way in, really filling in across the area as we head closer to midnight Sunday into Monday. And as this low tracks off to just south of our area here, notice that we're going to see some dry time into northeast Pennsylvania snow continues as you go farther north into New York, but then everything does finally start to wrap up as we go through the morning and into the afternoon on Monday. And as far as again, those snow totals are concerned, we're going to see actually potentially three to five inches here for most of the viewing area. Right around four will be the average snow amount I'm, I'm expecting us to see here. And again, a little bit lighter so into Northeast PA where they could see that break. Now temperatures tonight, we're going to be into those lower and even middle teens here tonight, warming up though quickly with that sun tomorrow back into the 30s and with the clouds and snowfall around Sunday night into Monday, we'll stay in the 20s. Maybe warm up just a little bit even so and then the cold air does fill in behind that storm system. So tonight 13 degrees, a partly cloudy sky. Again, the coldest night we've had in just a little while here. And then again, that next storm won't be until Wednesday into Thursday. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine actually Ooh, this week. All right. Well, I mean, we'll get over that. But do you feel like this is going to be as bad as last week in terms of the roads or anything? No, especially because we're not seeing a mix and it's just those few inches of snow. We should be OK to go. All right. Thank you so much, Damon. And after the break, we head outdoors as Binghamton Lacrosse opened its season against the 18th ranked team in the country.